Should I have taken the OBKs? <laughs> Thanks for clicking on Simply Tanika. I am Tanika. If you are new here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Let's hang out a while. If you are returning, welcome back. Let's get those babies, ladies. I see the crystal raindrops fall and the beauty. What's up, fertility fam? Happy hump day to ya. Happy hump day to ya. Happy hump day. Today is Wednesday, August 1st. Moving on to the new month. Um, headed into the office. I do have my dress that will be hemmed finally and my shoes are with me. I just wore the bra so I didn't have to carry all that extra stuff. Um, yeah, tonight I've got an event at Viacom so I'll be doing that. Not sure if I'll be able to vlog there, but we'll see. Um, I do want to say thank you to Connie H for pointing out that both Mercury and Mars are in retrograde. And she says that Mercury comes out of retrograde on the 19th of August. And I looked again, my appointment is actually on the 20th of August with the RE. So I'm going to take that as a positive sign. Um, the advice is normally not to make any major decisions while Mercury is in retro retrograde. And so I think that also kind of um, explains my state of mind of like flip-flopping. I haven't been able to make a decision. I've kind of been like, should I do this? Should I do that? So I think until I'm clear, I'm not gonna make a move. Um, some things that are rumbling around in my head, figuring out if I wanna move forward with IVF, if that's a conversation I wanna have with the RE, um, figuring out like what I wanna do about my diet, um, like taking dairy out completely and sugar and all that stuff. And um, finally losing the weight so those are some of the things that are kind of like I'm figuring out a plan for so I won't make a firm decision until after mercury gets out of retrograde um, that's where my head is right now all right I will um, talk to you all in a little bit I'm headed to the subway it's rainy so I've got a lot of stuff on my right arm and my left arm's got the phone so I'll chat with you in a bit bye I almost forgot to ask you guys how are you doing how are you? If you're new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. What's up, fertility fam? Um, yeah, if you're new here, let me know what brings you, where you are in the journey. Let me know down below. All right, ladies, talk to you in a bit. <laughs> I wasn't sure like what will, ha will what will happen or do I come back in like right I had already taken the meds when she canceled no okay I just wasn't sure if it would do it on its own since there was like a poor response I mean I wasn't sure and I'm like I'm going to California next week for my sister's wedding, so I was like, I should just follow up and see if it will happen on its own. Um, I come back like the 15th. Okay, so just wait and hopefully it will do what it should do. Um... Okay, should I have taken the OBKs? There were no follicles to grow for you to check the OBKs, and there's no medication for us to tell you to trigger because you don't have a follicle to mature. And then when we stop these cycles, we stop, and then your body should just do its thing, so we just wait for it. Okay, so in theory, what would have happened? We we didn't do any more medication. A follicle should yeah. have grown. It should ovulate on its own, and then I would just have like a regular cycle. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, well, I will keep my but fingers crossed. If you crossed. don't, Tanika, if you don't, when she sees you on the 20th, she'll look at the cycle, do an ultrasound, see what's going on, do some blood. 
blood test to tell us where your hormones are in your cycle and go from there. Okay. All right, so I don't need to do any, I'll just come in on the 20th. Like, if it does start, I don't need to call. I just wait until the 20th. Yes, if it does start, you can call me if you want, but there's really nothing to do until we see you because you'll be out of town anyway, right? Uh, probably, yes. I mean, I'm leaving okay. next week, so if it starts next week, I'll be, yeah, I'll be out of town. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll see you on the 20th, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, bye. bye. All right, there, there you have it. I don't know if you could hear part of it because I couldn't find a room. Um, I don't know why I didn't come look down here. But anyway, she's just saying, um, she asked me if I had done any OPKs and I was like, no. Um, but so hopefully my body did what it should have done on its own, which is what I thought, um, but I didn't do any OPKs. So we'll see. I have no idea if I did or if I didn't. Um, we'll just have to wait and see how it all unfolds. Yeah, I leave, I think I'm leaving on Tuesday or Wednesday. I, I still have to sort that out. But I did take the dress, as you guys saw. So we're making progress. Now I just got to figure out my nails and my hair. And then, um, yeah. Oh, and the the uh, feathers shipped. I did get an email that the feathers shipped because I was worried about that. So it says four to five days. So the idea is that they'll get there by the time I get there. And then I'll help my sister put them together, put the centerpieces all together, which have feathers in them. <sighs> all right, running up and down those stairs. Not for the faint of heart. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye. What's up, Fertility Fam? I'm home. So I did not go to the event tonight. I was tired. And, um, yeah, I didn't go. I'm home. Wanted to hang out with you guys. I've been missing you, so I thought I would do a little video. Um, what is going on? So I mentioned this morning that Mercury and Mars are in retrograde. Not going to make any heavy decisions, um, until after the 19th. I go to see the RE on the 20th, um, and I don't know exactly what I'm thinking. Um, someone put in the comments yesterday that, um, IVF could take a, a little bit longer. And so to kind of plan for that, I know I have to be one month off the medication. Um, something in my heart is telling me to do one more IUI though, before going to IVF. So I think, um, instead of putting a time on it, I think I will commit to one IUI, one IVF, and then be done. Um, and if that puts me past December, then that puts me past December. But um, yeah, there's there's something in my heart that's telling me that. Again, I'm not gonna make that decision until after Mercury gets out of retrograde, but I don't know, I've got that nagging feeling. Who knows? Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna trust that, trust my instinct and, and see what becomes of that. Um, as you heard earlier, Katrina called me back, even though yesterday I said I'm not going to worry about it. I thought it was interesting that she said, oh, did you do OPKs? Um, and I know you guys couldn't hear all the conversation. I couldn't find a room. But um, she asked me, did I do that? And I hadn't really. Like, I had taken that one before the appointment, and the um, cheapy was positive, and the digital was low. And then I took one yesterday. But I'm actually glad I didn't take them, like, the whole in between that time just because taking it yesterday irritated me like when I woke up and so I just think I need a like a little break from TTC and I think that is what's good like for my mental health um if I would have taken it every day I think I just would have been annoyed so um I was only slightly annoyed when I took it yesterday and yeah and move on so I don't know uh I am on cycle day 21 today and I don't know if I ovulated I honestly wasn't paying attention to any signs um, I didn't do acupuncture this week. I'm not going to yoga. There's a friend's birthday that I'm going to go to her um, after work event. And yeah, I haven't been meditating or any of that. And like Deidre is asking me today if I've been meditating or telling me I needed to meditate more. Like she had sent me some videos. I just don't feel like it. So I'm, I'm not going to do it. Um, I think when your practice of relaxing causes you stress, you have to stop that practice. And so... I just honestly felt overscheduled, like going to get blood work, going to, you know, go to acupuncture, go to yoga. Um, it's summertime, it's getting darker later, like I just don't want to do it right now. Um, and I'm not saying that I'm giving up on TTC, I'm just, I'm taking a TTC break and I'm going to fully break. So no acupuncture this week, no acupuncture next week because I'll be in California for the wedding. Um, 
and I have it, I think, coming back after that, so I'll get back on the, the TTC bandwagon. But then I'm also planning a trip with Blue at the end of August, beginning of September, so we are going to go away and relax a little bit. So I think after that, I'll be back to my like hardcore TTC um, game. And I think it'll be easier for me because I won't feel like punished. So I think I'm not gonna make any like drastic diet changes. I am going to drink a little bit. I'm not going to go crazy, um, but just, yeah, not have to worry about it. I will continue my supplements because I just think my body would go into shock if I stopped taking them all. Um, so I will continue those and I will eat, I mean, I eat well in general, but I'm going to have sugar. I like binged on sugar today, candy. Um, I had a diet, or not even a diet, I had a Mountain Dew on Monday when I went to the movies um, and popcorn with the crazy um, butter that they have there. So yeah, I'm just gonna have like little indulgences like that and just be normal for a little while and not be like what cycle day is it what's going on and just like relax and um i've been praying a lot i've been praying more than meditating and i'm not super religious um i did go to catholic school but i'm not a super religious like i'm not a super practicing religious person i believe in in god i believe in a higher power um but yeah, I've been praying a lot and I feel like um, God and I have been talking and I want to be uh, able to be a witness to a miracle. Um, I want to testify. And so, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm praying for. Like, cause I will, let me tell you, I will go tell it on the mountain um, when I get my BFP. So that's where i am that's what's going on um i like i said i'm on cycle day 21. i'm going to read um from my conception coloring book um cycle day 13 only because who knows if i ovulated or not and this kind of resonated with me and i wanted to share it with you guys um i haven't colored it yet it's a uterus i don't know if you can see that but anyway okay day 13. i am beginning to feel a deep and abiding relaxation within me I am beginning to feel full and open. My feet, knees, and hips feel relaxed. <sighs> Love and warmth are flowing through my feet and legs. My uterus feels receptive. Cervical mucus is lubricating my cervix. My ovary is releasing a healthy and fully developed egg or eggs. My hands, arms, and shoulders feel heavy. Warmth and heaviness are flowing through my hands and arms. Warmth and love are flowing through my heart. My neck, jaw, tongue, and forehead feel relaxed and smooth. My whole body feels quiet, heavy, and comfortable. I am comfortably relaxed. Warmth and heaviness flow into my arms, hands, and fingertips. My breathing is slow and regular. I am aware of my calm, regular heartbeat. I am aware of deep and abiding love within me. I am aware of a surge of luteinizing hormone triggering the release of the egg or eggs into my open and clear fallopian tube. My mind is becoming quieter as I focus inward. I feel still. Deep in my mind, I experience myself as relaxed, comfortable, and still. I am alert in a quiet, inward way. As I color, I take energizing breaths, bringing love and energy into my cervix, my uterus, into my ovaries, and into the eggs that is being released from my ovary. 
as I color, I open to the sperm living within me, protected by my cervical mucus, traveling to fertilize my healthy and fully developed eggs. Ugh. As I have been prayerful this week, um, that's one of the things I've been telling myself. Be still. Be still. And I think um, recognizing that Mercury is in retrograde has reinforced that there was something in my head telling me to be still. And then when um, Connie H posted about Mercury in retrograde, I was like, ah, the universe is telling me to be still as well. So be still and lean not on my own understanding, right? Be still, lean not on my own understanding. So that's where I am and it's bringing me peace and calm. Um, I would say the week that my cycle got canceled, there was like anger and guilt that I wasn't processing. Um, I knew I felt something and I thought it was all about like the negative comments, but it was more than that, it was just, I was unsettled and I needed to be still. And so having the cycle get canceled um, reinforced that. I ignored the voice in my head telling me that I needed to cancel it. Um, but my body was speaking louder than my mind. And so it got canceled and so I had to be still. And yeah, that's where I am. So I don't know if I've ovulated or not. I don't know if I'm about to ovulate and it's going to be okay. Um, it's going to be okay to not know and to just trust, trust my body, trust my process, um, and be still. So we will see, we will see what happens. Um, I don't have any answers. I only have questions. And yeah, take care of yourself, ladies. Be good to yourself. If there is a voice in your head telling you to slow it down and be still, listen to the voice, listen to your body, honor your body. Um, yeah, and just listen, be good to yourself. All right, thanks for watching. Please share this video with all the ladies you know. I'm convinced all of us ladies need this information now, not just TTC. I think as women, we don't remember to take care of ourselves and put ourselves first, and we have to put our life mask on first. So share it with every woman that you know. <laughs> um, I will talk to you tomorrow. Be good to yourself. Bye. Mwah. Baby does to you all. I see the crystal raindrops fall And the beauty of it all Is when the sun comes shining through To make those rainbows in my mind When I think of you sometime And I want to spend some time